Hello, my little gravy boats. It is time to continue our quest to find the perfect base. So let's do this. I just wanted to get a close up of our little whale friend over here. Oh, oh my goodness. Hello. Oh, that's really cool. Are you a glow squid? You are? What do you do exactly? A wraith has spotted us. I want to see if we can get to our... Oh, it's going to be close. Too, too close for comfort is what it is. All right. Ouch. All right, we're just going to sleep real quick and then we will be off on our adventure. Oh, blue fire i'm guessing that's from the wraith okay it's looking like we're gonna have to get out our old trusty boat and just sail we gotta keep clear of the jellies and yeah i have noticed oh i notice you as well we're probably not gonna touch it though because i ain't trying to die for the millionth time but i have noticed that there is these driftwood uh things scattered throughout the water oh there's a, a pirate ship over here uh let's take a gander shall we uh okay um a barrel sure we'll take you and then up 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 woo all right it's kind of hard to tell because the barrels, they just kind of like blend in. Yeah, that's the only barrel I see though. Ooh, a door. Fantastic. Get back in our boat and go onward. Ooh, sheep. So this looks really nice. This looks like a really nice place to possibly make a base. So these signs here are for villages. So there's a village 400 blocks that way. Which could be really useful for us if we do decide to make a base here we can have a village close by and i'm seeing a lot of different kinds of animals here as well there's well there's at least one cow there some horses we have a sheep over there i'd assume that there's more around here somewhere though yeah there's some sheep over there so that's good i think we're gonna head over to that village oh a giraffe you know what I think we might actually have already found the place that we want to build because this is a nice big flat area just right in here and there's a bunch of different kinds of trees around and stuff well at least the leaves are different and there's some um, looks like acacia trees over here so let's see okay so there's actually two villages one 300 blocks that way and then the other ones 200 that way now these could also mean pillager outposts. So hopefully we don't run into one of them. But I think this is a really good spot. It looks really nice. We've got lots of different kinds of flowers and I'm guessing that these are oak trees. Yeah, and they just have different leaves and stuff. Oh, and then birch ones there too. Oh, and there's the village. So yeah, I think Oh, and another Colosseum. I think we will build here. I really do like this area. This is very nice. It's very flat, which is good. We don't have to level anything out so much. Uh, so I'm going to look around in this village, probably see whatever. Oh my goodness, there's a pink sheep! You guys, a pink sheep! It's a sign. We have to build here. We're going to build here. So welcome, you guys, to our main base area. Fantastic. Uh, empty map. Cartographer. Oh, yes. That placement is perfection itself. We are not keeping that. <laughs> Give me that. All right, we're just going to put that back. Put our helmet back on. All right, I think I checked all of these houses. There isn't actually too much here anyway. Oh, hello. Um, um, here you go, here you go, 
<laughs> That's adorable. Okay, and what's good about this as well is there's some sand and stuff. There's a desert here. Okay, and it's a desert village. And of course, we've got the elephants, and I saw some giraffes over there, which is awesome. All right, well, I guess we'll head back over to where we want to build, get some stuff set up and ready to go. And then I'll bring you guys back in if I have anything interesting to let you know about. Okay, so I had to sleep through the night. Ooh. Ooh. But, so far, other than being surrounded by creepers, apparently, um, I got this tree planted here. And this little water area was already there. I just kind of terraformed it a little bit. Ouch. <laughs> I just terraformed it a little bit. And there was already fish in here, so I thought it'd be really cool for a little, like, um... Oh, right. I thought it'd be cool for, like, a little, I don't know, fish pond to have this tree in the middle. I just, I really like having ponds with these big oak trees in the center. I, it's a thing. I can't explain it to you. Okay? Okay. Um, other than that, I'm trying to figure out where I want to build our main house. I'm thinking, like, somewhere in this area right in here where this dude is. Let's get rid of him first, and then I'm gonna, ooh... Oh, goodness sake. I'm going to have to clean this up. And then I'm going to start with the layout of how we want to build the house. I have no idea, actually, how I want to do this. So I'm just going to play around with it and see what I can do. And I'll update you guys here in a little bit. So I was uh, digging around to get some dirt to fill in holes. And I found a little hobbit hole, which... uh came down here and ow ow um and now we're here this is uh not good <laughs> to put it very simply i'm sorry there's also an abandoned mine shaft here so i mean that's useful right we're just going to kill you guys take your crap ice dragon egg interesting and then i gotta get out of here can i what is wrong? There. Okay. Cool. But uh, this is the hobbit hole. I did not realize it was a hobbit hole because I saw it from the outside. I was coming at it this way. And I just wanted to collect the dirt. But yeah, it's very interesting, I know. <laughs> so I'm just uh, getting dirt, filling up those creeper holes, and then I will show you guys the layout for the house. And my shovel broke. You guys, this is awesome! We found a waystone just in the middle of nowhere. Well, it's not nowhere, but still. So now we can plunk this down. If I can find where I'm building, that'd be fantastic. But we can plunk it down and that way we can get to and from our base easier instead of going to the village and then trekking all the way back. So as soon as I find where it was, I think. Yeah, because I was coming from this direction. Also, I think this this just grew, and I really like the way that this looks. It's, like, really cute for some reason. I don't know. Girly things. Ha ha. All right. Slept through the night. Well, didn't sleep. I didn't sleep. There's no bed in here. Okay. I've got... Whoa. <laughs> that surprises me every single time. Why? You think that I would expect it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go into creative mode real quick just to show you guys. That is not how you do it. Uh, yes. Just to show you guys what this layout looks like from above now. I missed some, I missed some holes. There, wait a minute. I am so sorry. I am so easily distracted. There is a wandering trader riding an elephant. I love it so much. Hello? All right, back on track, Haley. Let's go. So this is the layout that I've chosen. Um, it's a weird L. Yeah. So this is what we're going to look like for a house. Now, the reason why I designed it this way is because I want to do those fancy looking roof things fancy roof 
What did I do? Uh, my vault. Thank you. Why is it? Hello? Game mode. Survival. Five ball. Enter. Why isn't this working? H hello? My game's crashing. Oh, goodness. All right, we're back. Everything is fine. So, yeah, that is the... Oh, and he's back again, too, I guess. Come on, then. Yeah, that's right. But yeah, that's the layout. Um, it's going to be a weird L shape. And yeah, the reason is because of the fancy roof. That's that's it, pretty much. And I wanted it to be a decently large house, seeing it's going to be our main, our main base. But yeah, I think we're going to plunk down our waystone, just boop. And we're just going to call it base for now. We might rename it later. But yeah, I think that's going to be that. Now, I think I'm going to go ahead and... Hmm, I gotta think about what kind of block palette I want to use for this house. I like stone bricks a lot. I also like cobble and, like, spruce planks, mainly. But I don't really see spruce around here anywhere. We've got pretty much just oak and birch which isn't ideal we might have to go in try and find some other trees somewhere yes hello thank you for your input good sir uh, but yeah i think i'm gonna have to try and find some spruce trees somewhere possibly if not i mean oak is fine but i just like the darker the darker trees a bit better donkey yeah i'm not seeing any spruce trees around here i might have to go out and see if i can find any anywhere else possibly nearby to where any of our other waypoints are, but I'm going to do that. I'm going to try and get a decent foundation down for our base house. I'm going to play around with a couple block palettes that I'm thinking of, and I will bring you guys back in to look at those whenever I got them all figured out, and maybe I'll have you guys vote on which one you like the best. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to do that really quickly, and... I will see you guys back here in a minute. Okay, so I tried loading it back up and it said that there was an error loading a mod. And I got it to work now, but we're all the way back here. I'm assuming that means that our waystone isn't connected anymore. I'm gonna check real quick, but I'm having some issues with this. I don't know if I can delete that mod and it might fix it. It said that it was environmental, I think. So I don't know how much that would change everything. I don't know much about mods. Base? Okay. That's promising. So our waystone's fine. So I'm just gonna take this bed. That way we don't have to leave to sleep. I'm just gonna plunk it here by the waystone and set our respawn point. So I don't know what happened with that and why we spawned back so far when I finally got it to work again. Very weird. But I'm going to go head off and see if I can find a wood type that I like. And I will update you guys after that. Oh, um, just, just look. I had to back up so that it wouldn't spoil anything when I started recording. But look at this thing. It's, oh, just wait. It's massive. I was about this close when it all popped it. What is that? B oh, that's a hole. Uh, well... Um, this is interesting. Ah! Oh my god! I've had enough of the jump scares. Mmm, haha, -ha, you didn't get to me that time. You can. Mmm. Oh, pillager. Oh, oh goodness, this is danger. Danger! Run! Danger! Run! This place looks so cool, though. I really like this. That is a very, very tall tower of doom. I feel like my skeleton jumped out of my body. But I'm fine. I'm okay. Is this just... This is just crawling with mobs. That's really sad. I'm sure there's a bunch of goodies in there. I'm gonna mark down the cords for this because this is crazy. And then maybe later on in the game, when we have full enchanted diamond or something crazy like that we can come back and do this all right that's written down now but i think i've had enough excitement wowie what is this it's a bell oh no that's not a bell 
That just looks like a well of sorts. I heard a bell. Oh, is it because this is an underground village? This one looks a lot bigger than the other one we saw. That's interesting. <laughs> Guess we'll take the potatoes. No, I don't care about that stuff. No. I keep getting sidetracked by things. There's just always something new to come across. Well, I mean, the underground village isn't a new concept because we found one before. But this one's definitely bigger than the other one, so it should have some stuff in it that we could use. Oh my goodness, look at all the books! Oh, this is fantastic. I like this. This is very nice. There's a giant quartz thing. Turtle egg. Can I? Oh no. I messed up. We're not going to talk about that. Okay. We're not going to talk about it. But we're going to take this. I did nothing to your special egg. Goliath Slayer? What is that? I wonder if that goes like on a sword. All right, we got all the books and we've got two stacks plus 51. That's crazy. We can have a really nice enchanting room in our house. And oh my goodness. They have a little bee area. This is really cool. I like this a lot. If this wasn't such a maze, I would definitely say that we could stay here and just convert this into a base for ourselves. Because this is insane. Yeah, this place is just a bit too complicated to try and convert into an actual base. All right, so this is the beginning. Can't remember where I've been and where I haven't yet. Oh, more books. What is this? There's a skeleton head, a couple of them. Diamond horse armor. We're definitely gonna take that. There definitely is some good stuff in here. Now, can I pick this up? Oh, I can. I'll pick this up and we can use them for decoration and stuff. We've definitely gotten a lot of good stuff so far though. Like, I'm really happy that we found this. All right, I think we searched everywhere. I'm gonna leave it the way that it is. We did get a lot of good stuff from here though. All right, so what I'm gonna do is mark the cords here in case we wanna come back, especially for those bees and stuff. So we're just gonna keep on a trucking. Okay, so I ended up finding some spruce trees. There are these warm blossom saplings. They have like yellow leaves, but the logs are spruce. So that's awesome. I got the saplings, so we're gonna go ahead back to our main base and we're gonna plant them and start a little farm so that we have oh oh my goodness so that we have a good supply of spruce logs from these we got mystery eggs i'm not quite sure what those are i guess they'd be mystery eggs duh <laughs> But I'm guessing that they just spawn random birds. So we're going to make a little area for animals. All right, let's grab these mystery eggs and see what we get, if anything. Oh, you don't throw them? How do these work exactly? Okay, so in order to hatch these eggs, we have to have an egg incubator. So I think we have the stuff to make this. All right, we're gonna make up this incubator. So it's the glass on the top, that on the edges. Oh crap, I didn't take the water out of the bucket, duh. All right, flint and steel there, and then a bucket, boom, lovely. Okay, let's put it Let's stick it there. Do you really need blaze powder? So I'm guessing we just made this for nothing because I have absolutely no idea how to make this thing work. I'm guessing you need blaze powder, which we obviously do not have. We've not been to the nether yet. So we're just gonna have to wait for that. Okay, so these are the block pallets I was thinking of. We've got some spruce logs with stone bricks on the bottom for the foundation and then spruce planks is the main wall. Over here, we've got the same spruce logs and planks and then cobble for the foundation. Spruce logs, stone bricks, and oak planks for the main wall. Spruce, cobble, and oak. And if you come around the back here, I just did oak logs with those on each one. And hello. So yeah, I'm thinking these four here being the main ones that I'm looking at. So if you guys want to vote for these, go for it down below. Okay, so to make this easier, I just went ahead and numbered these. So this will be number one. And if you want this palette just with the oak logs. You could just say one with oak logs and then the same thing here, two or two with oak logs, three or three with oak logs, four 
or four with oak logs. And I'll show you guys these backs again real quick. So this is four, three, two, and one. Um, the one that I'm aiming for, just in case you guys don't want to vote, I'm thinking I might go for number two. Yeah, I think I might go with number two, just because I like how dark the logs are against this. It's like a nice contrast with that. And then the cobble just looks a bit more, I guess, rugged is what I'm looking for. If I did the oak logs with this, I think it's just too similar. I don't know, but that's just me. So if you guys have an opinion on what block palette we decide to use for our house, please let me know. And I think I'm going to end it there. So if you guys liked it, please demolish the like button gently. That's important. <laughs> and if you would like to as well, you can subscribe and become a little gravy boat. But yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.